My name is Michael O'Connor, Regional President for Webster Bank and this year's 2019-2020 United Way Campaign Chair. A lot has changed since our September kickoff as the world has seen a major crisis with COVID-19. But we were undaunted. The United Way staff and the leadership team of this year's campaign charged on to make sure that we could reach the community for all the needs that they have. Other groups have used the term Waterbury Strong, and I think that is, is exemplary of our community. So I'm so proud to see how our community has stepped up time in and time again for all sorts of events. This year's United Way campaign is no different. So I'd like to say thank you to all the first responders, healthcare worker, workers, essential employees, and all of those who are out there every day making sure that we're safe, that we're taken care of, and have the essential goods and services that we need to live our lives. So thank you to all of you. And I'd like to thank the United Way staff for really stepping up in this time of need and reaching the needs of our community. Great job to all of you. Let's create the change. That was the dynamic campaign uh, slogan for this year. And it really seems like it was uh, fitting for the times we're in. I'd like to thank the works group for their efforts, as always, in helping and assisting the United Way and creating this year's campaign theme. Grant Copeland uh, from the works group created the uh, slogan, and uh, he was also with his daughter, Ella, last year's chair and led to outstanding results. I'd like to tell Grant that I had to follow two rock stars uh, for all the efforts that they did and all the great work that they were able to produce for the campaign. So thank you to you and all you have done. A special thanks to our media groups, WATR who created our commercials to great success, allowing us to reach a broad band in, within our community. Thank you very much. To the Republican American, our newspaper, Thank you time and time again. You're in our corner uh, with print media, uh, letting people know about our campaign and advertising uh, how people can contribute to make a difference uh, in this campaign and as always in the past campaigns. To Power Station, who is there for us time and time again for our uh, events, making sure they're done in a professional manner. Thank you very much uh, to Al and Liz. To my campaign leadership council, you guys did a great job. Uh, you always had my back, and I appreciate that. There was like a team effort from the day one uh, in September all the way through this COVID crisis. So thank you for all the facts, or for all the things that you guys have done to make this year's campaign incredible. I'd like to thank all of our corporations who have given. Uh, we have corporate sponsorships that aren't included in our number. Uh, of $115,000 that corporations give to make sure we can have events and get our message out. That is not included in a number I'm going to release to you shortly. So thank you to those corporations. And for the campaigns that you hold, uh, that makes a, a large uh, uh, percentage of our overall campaign. Uh, this year, I'd like to make special note uh, of two companies, uh, Bantam Wesson and Traver IDC for being selected for the James C. Smith Award for Excellence in your campaign. Great job to both companies. So with that, uh, I would like to announce the results for this year's campaign. Our total contributions were $4,173,000. So thank you to all of you in the community who gave, whether it was $1, or $10,000. Every single penny, every single dollar matters to us being able to reach the community and help all those who, who are in need. The breakdown of that number, $3,870,000 was our uh, campaign contributions through all our different efforts. And then our special fundraising, $303,000 for COVID-19 response that's immediately going into our market and helping those most needed in this time of crisis. So again, total 
$4,173,000, an outstanding job by everyone in this community who really care deeply about how strong Waterbury is. Uh, it's, it's so proud, I am so proud uh, to say that I'm here, I'm in this market, and I care deeply about Waterbury. So thank you to all of you who have uh, contributed greatly to the success of this campaign and to our community. It's also my pleasure to announce next year's campaign leader. John Hopkins is the president and CEO of Post University, an integral uh, organization in our community. John led the effort to move Post University's uh, uh, part of their uh, facility downtown, which has added great vibrancy uh, to our downtown community. So thank you for that, John. While they still maintain their campus up in the country club section in Waterbury. Uh, John is a leader, he's philanthropic, he cares, and he will drive us to great results next year. So John, I got your back. I'm gonna pass the baton to you. Thank you very much for taking uh, charge for next year. Wear the shirt with pride. Thank you, John. Hey Mike, thanks for the shirt. I appreciate it. Um, Although I, uh, I don't know whether to say thank you for sending me over a large or thinking maybe this is a public humiliation, knowing that I have to tell the world that I couldn't fit into a large shirt. If I put this shirt on, trust me, it'd fit like OJ's glove. I haven't been in a large since Jesus was a kid. But I guess thank you anyway is a nice thought. Um, more seriously, Mike, uh, I, I thank you for that uh, very nice in introduction. Uh, but I'm the one that's really following a rock star. Um, but I think more importantly, I just need to thank you for everything that you do on behalf of this community, and in particular, the, the United Way. The United Way community, with all of its partners, is just so thankful for your leadership and the unwavering, unwavering dedication of your team, all of whom are focused solely on the betterment of Greater Waterbury. The funds that were raised during this most recent campaign are absolutely critical in the months ahead. The United Way of Greater Waterbury has been at the forefront, providing over $300,000 in grants for frontline organizations to help those who are most vulnerable. And that was only because of the strength of Mike, of Kristen, the leadership team, and the dedication of all of the volunteers. That's the sole reason the United Way was strong and ready to immediately respond to the current crisis. This was a team, this is a team, that understands life isn't about getting and having. It's about giving and being. And it's my intention to continue to honor that attitude and keep the tradition of a successful fundraising campaign going, despite all of the adversity and building upon the re results that Mike and his team achieved, albeit it's gonna be in different ways, in new ways. The United Way organization has for decades been responsive to those in need within this community and this annual campaign has always been of vital importance to fuel that mission. However, the circumstances have clearly changed. And about eight weeks ago, COVID-19, the crisis upended the world as we know it. Social, act, social uh, interaction is how we work and how we play. It's been a key piece of how the United Way campaign operates, getting into CEOs and business leaders of the community, talking to their, to their associates about the, the importance that their contrib contributions make to this community. Suddenly 75 million students from across the country are now being homeschooled. Now, while I think the teachers are doing a Herculean job under the circumstances, Parents also have to step in much more than they ever have before. And so now they're full-time teachers on top of their full-time jobs. 
And unfortunately, many of those full-time jobs are being eliminated. Debilitating anxiety is now the norm. So the point is that Greater Waterbury hasn't been spared from this catastrophe, which has only been exacerbated by the number and the sheer depth of our neighbors who are living in crisis. But the United Way is not just about the immediate need. It's also about the long term. And the day-to-day -day work of the United Way has to continue as we look to the increasing needs of our community at a time when there's, there has never been a more challenging environment to, the, to raise funds for the United Way. Our community needs us now more than ever. But challenges are what makes life interesting. And overcoming them is what makes it meaningful. So that said, this year's campaign will profoundly be impacted by social distancing. The campaign will look very different than years past, which frankly, in a sense, could be very exciting. We simply have to reinvent our approach to this campaign. Facing challenges head on in hard times offers you much more value, much more meaning, and much more gratification than at any other times in our lives. So with that in mind, I've asked several of Greater Waterbury's most respected leaders to come together and help us figure this out. And I have to say, when I was speaking to these people, I was, um, frankly, I was, if I said amazed, it sounds too trite. I was just overwhelmed at the spirit that drives these people. Behind these leaders that we brought together, along with the dedicated volunteers, there's a couple themes. One is these people don't necessarily have time. But what was clear to me is they have heart. And that's where their decision to say yes came into play. The other is that they don't that they clearly understand life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, sitting on the sidelines. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. We're going to figure this out. They understand that this crisis presents an opportunity to shine. This struggle will bring out their best. And I'm touched and amazed at the wonderful people who said yes to help this year's campaign. They understand the notion that nobody made a greater mistake than someone who did nothing because he only had time to do a little. I know this team is the team that will be creative, passionate, and is up to reinvent as we go. We have to reimagine how we approach the United Way campaign this year. But I know they're going to do it because they believe that crisis fosters innovation. This team will do just that. And I hope this, the, the innovation that comes from this year's campaign, that there are nuggets that stick with campaigns in the years to come. This is a team that's comprised of very special people to whom I will be forever grateful. I have every confidence that this leadership team will step up and I can't thank you enough for accepting the challenge and for being the reason that we will succeed in the face of adversity. Thank you. We all have your back, John. We're all in with you, John. You're absolutely the right leader during this unprecedented time of need. John, you have an all-star team behind you, so swing for the fence. We're, We're taking steps, steps together with you, John. United, United Way, Way strong. Hi, John, Jack and Sandy Senich here. For the short amount of time that you've been in our community, you've become such a valuable part of our community. And this is a sign of our appreciation. A little more work. <laughs> Congratulations for being named campaign chair. We know you'll do a wonderful job. 
How fortunate are we at United Way to have you at the helm when the community needs us now more than ever. We're here to help, John. We've got your back. It's going to be a great campaign. Don't hesitate to ask for anything. Hello, I'm Salim Nujaim from First Time Campaign Coordinator 1991 to 2001 Campaign Chair to Top 50. We are all in. Congratulations, Johnny Hopkins. God bless. Follow the road. Let's travel. We're about 10 years older than the photo shows here, but uh, John, we're wishing you the best of luck with this year's campaign. John, we're uh, behind you all the way. Whatever you need, we're here to help you out, and I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a very successful campaign. So good luck. Hey, John, just wanted to thank you for taking on the cheer of the United Way campaign this year, especially during this difficult time, and I got your back. I can tell you there have been United Way campaigns that have gone on during turbulent times. But what I can tell you for sure is that our community always has a way of stepping up when the stakes are high. And you're just the right leader at the right time. So, John, we'll do everything we can to support you and wish you all the best as your campaign takes off. Hi, John. The financial needs in our community this year are at historically high levels. Your campaign is so critical to our community. I'm sure with your leadership skills and the great team you're going to put together, you will exceed those goals. You have 100% of my support. Go United Way, Greater Waterbury. Here we go, John. Here we go. John, I got your back. We're in this together. John, as we exit this COVID pandemic, it's very obvious that philanthropy is not going to be on the top of everyone's list. This is when you rely on your friends. And on behalf of myself, Drew Marine, we're going to be here for you. So as you move forward with this campaign, count us in. Give me a ring if you need me to do anything for you. I will be there, my friend. Hello, John. I'm Dr. Jacoby. And I'm Dr. Travel. And together we're known as the, the Spin, Spin Doctors. Doctors. Hey, John, thanks for chairing next year's United Way campaign. Our professional and not-so-professional diagnosis is for... Complete and total financial health and success. Looking forward to passing along this special financial magic wand. John, good luck. And, and many, many thanks, thanks for, for your leadership. leadership. Thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful summer. I'll see you at the kickoff breakfast or whatever form it takes on September 10th. Um, have a great summer. Thanks again.